I'm here with head coach Denari Foreman for the men's basketball program right after his most recent victory against the Willamette Bearcats. Coach Denari, what can you tell us about tonight's win? You know, Willamette is pretty darn good, but on senior night we had a raucous crowd, got great, great energy in here. Um, I thought it would be hard for Willamette to get over the top because uh, the guys are hungry to get over that loss last night. And, and I tell you, everyone from top to bottom came out and played their tails off, played great defense, held them, I think, 54, 55 points, um, which is a lot lower than their season average. So I'm pretty happy. And moving into the playoffs now, we have to figure out how to win against Pacific on Tuesday and, and Pacific Lutheran on Saturday. Am I right that you guys are third in conference right now? It depends on who won and who lost right now. But, okay. Uh, we're not looking at the conference standings, man. We're looking at the next team The next team we play in that's Pacific. Pacific, all right. Yes, sir. Is there anything you, you saw tonight you want to change up for the game against Pacific or Pacific Lutheran later in the week? You know, you, you don't want to get up. You don't want to give up second half offensive, offensive rebounds. Um, when you get up by a bunch, you tend to young people such as yourself tend to daydream at times and all of a sudden get a little too other moment or not yeah exactly they kind of lose the moment a bit but yeah. um, I really can't complain about much we did a great job on defense I thought we shared the ball on offense uh, now we just got to see if we can tighten some things up for uh, Pacific on Tuesday and, and see what happens so you're losing four seniors this year Scott Pasapia, Ross Erickson, James Hollins and Dexter Pierce what are you looking to bring in next season? You know what? We already have one really good commitment, a uh, local kid, 6'4 kid out of uh, Sherwood. Um, we're looking, we have to replace some really talented kids, and, and more than anything, four leaders. Um, four big leaders. We're, we're, we're going to go out, and, and we have, we're on the trail of some really good players right now. Student athletes is going to help us hopefully win an NWC championship. So, yeah, those we're, we're four guys. There. Those four guys tonight put up over 50 points. That's going to be a big loss to the program. That's going to be a big loss, but you know but, what? We believe in next man up, so we'll see oh what yeah. happens. How did the sixth man help you guys tonight in your other home game this season? I, I know I, you didn't get a lot at home, but... I, I tell you this. There was a time when, when they made a good run at it, and you guys got loud. And when our guys get loud, this is a great home court advantage, and I think we came out and hit two threes in a row to push the lead back up to a comfortable notice. Our fans, our students, are easily the best fans that I've played in front of. So we have to keep that momentum, and, and hopefully going into next year, we'll fill the crowd up even more, and we'll have a better product out there also. I'm right there with you, Coach. Thank hey, you very much for the interview. Good luck this week.